Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start unit 6 of Progressive English class 6. The title of the unit is Lions and Tigers. We are going to start with first lesson which is actually kind of newspaper report which titles At Home in the Urban Jungle. I am going to read the text first. New York, October 2003. Anthony Yeast went to a medical center in New York at the weekend. He asked for treatment for bites on his arms, hand, hands, and face, which he said had been caused by his dog. The doctors did not believe his story and called the police, who went to the man's small flat on the fifth floor of the property in the Harlem district of New York. Neighbors told the police officers that a strong smell came from Mr. Yates' flat and that they suspected he was keeping wild animals inside. The police officers listened to his warning, to this warning, and made a small hole in the front door to, so that they could see through it into the flat. Well, students. Uh, as I have told you earlier that it is a kind of newspaper story which was published on October 2003. It is about Anthony Yates, who went to the medical center in New York for the treatment of bites on his arm and face. Doctors became suspicious and called the police. When police visited his flat, his neighbors told them that a strong smell was coming from his flat that made them suspicious that he was keeping some kind of wild animals in his flat. The officers made a hole in the front door to have a look inside the flat. Come to the text again. They were amazed to see a massive tiger inside the hall in order to capture the tiger without endangering anyone's life. The police officers appealed means to descend on by a rope. Absealed down the side of the building and stopped outside the window of Mr. Yates' flat. The huge tiger shot means attacked at the window and the police officer shot the animal twice with a tranquilizer gun. Tranquilizer guns are, uh, we can say, kind of sedatives. They are used to fight the bullets which makes the animals unconscious for a shorter span of time. Now we have to read the text. It was then safe for the police officers to enter the flat where an other surprise awaited them. The five feet long caiman, a kind of alligator, was behind a sofa in another room. The police officers removed the 880 kilometer tiger on a stretcher and both the tiger and the caiman were taken to a wildlife reserve in Cleveland, Ohio. So in this paragraph, we have learned that uh, when they the police officers they made a hole in the front door to have a look inside the room they were surprised to see the huge tiger inside they shot the animal with a tranquilizer gun to capture it easily when they entered the flat another surprise was there as they found five feet long caiman it is a kind of alligator a crocodile Police officers took the tiger and came into a wildlife reserve in Cleveland, Ohio. So the student's lesson is done. Now we will move toward the question and answers. So turn the page. Come to page 124. Here we have some question and answers. I will give you the answers of uh, question number 1. 3, 5, and 6. We will do only question number 1, 3, 5, and 6. So, you have to write down all these question and answers on your copy as I have already one for you. Already done it for you. It is question 1. What did the doctor find suspicious about Mr. Yates' story when he went to the medical center. The answer is a strong smell was coming from his flat that ma made his neighbors suspicious that he was keeping wild animals at home. Next question is why did the police officers make a hole in the front door? The answer is they made a hole in the front door to have a look inside the room. Next question is describe the scene in Mr. Yates' flat which greeted the police officers. 
answer is they found not only a huge tiger but they also found a five feet long caiman there next question where did the police officers take the tiger answer is they took the tiger to a wildlife reserve in cleveland ohio you have to write down all these questions and answers in your copy thank you